welcome once again to this youtube channel today we're gonna look at something quite interesting and that is databases assuming i don't know how to use a database how can i use artificial intelligence to help me find my way around a database so there's a database called postgres so if you go to your search bar here and say postgres dot new postgres dot new press enter now a screen like this is gonna appear it may require you to first log in into the github account if you do not have a github account you need to create one and then it will ask you to log in then you come to this screen so I do have a GitHub account and I've done this before. That's why it's taking me to this screen. But if you're doing it for the first time, most likely it will ask you to log in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is when you come here, so this is our screen that we have. We have here a new database. If you want to create the new database here, uh, if you want to close this sidebar, I can close it like so i have different themes here if i want ducks theme come in there then all that if i want to sign in sign out that's what i'm gonna do so we have a diagram here currently we have nothing because we have not created anything and we have migrations here the sql queries that we're gonna create are gonna appear right here so remember we are using artificial intelligence to assist us so or we can write our sql queries if we know sql we can write our queries here if we do not know sql we can say hey artificial intelligence assist us and write a, an sql query and i'm gonna tell ai to create a database called contact let's see what happens it says executing there you go it has created a database of contacts and by default it has created an id an id is a primary field a unique field that identifies a contact we have a first name last name email phone number and address so let me uh, ask it to add, please add a column called state. I want to know the state of each of these contacts. So I do that and it executes, and then you can see state is added here. Let's say add sample data data of n rows okay let's say maybe 15 rows so it is working now and if as it does that, if you want to see the SQL query that is uh, executed, this was the first one where we created the table called contacts. It identified it, gave it a primary key, first name, email, and the rest. So you can see the SQL query here. We said add a column. It also executed another column, SQL query here. It says alter table contacts and add a column called state and the data type is text. Say so it add 15 rows of sample data. Then it comes here and executes another query, which says insert into contacts the first name. So you identify this, the columns that you're going to affect. Then this is the data that is being inserted. So it is telling us it has inserted the data. Now, how we see this data, we say run a query. 
to display all the data. Let's press enter and you see what happens. Again, it executes another SQL query here. And if you want to see it here, it, all it does, it says select all from a table called contacts and limit to 15. There you go. So this is my data as you can see. If you need more space, you can close this sidebar here and then you look at your data like so. So I'm interacting and writing SQL queries through artificial intelligence. So this is my data. Now I can do other things. I can say, give me all contacts that have state as TX. Select all contacts with state as TX, which is this one here. So let's execute that. So it goes in there, runs the query. It gives me the query it is running. Then it returns one record here because we have only one record with the state as TX. So this is how you can run your queries in your browser quite easy. All you need to do is type postgres.new and then you have your data. Now the next thing maybe you can say is assuming I want to download this data, what do I do? There are some options here. If you go here, you can see download, deploy, delete. You can also name your database. But uh, what I've not seen is an option for CSV. So I can give a query here. I say, please download my table as a CSV file. Assuming I want, I've created my database, I've done all sorts of things. Now I want to go download the data. So I give it this instruction, I run it. Then it does the SQL query, it runs it here. It says copy all contacts to this here with CSV as header, all right. That's what it has run. Now down here, it has given me a link. Your table has been exported to CSV. You can download it using this link, okay? Let's do it again, okay, there you go. So this is my CSV file. And these are my contacts. So I'm able to write SQL queries without any knowledge of SQL, but I'm using artificial intelligence to do so. So that is the first look at this query here. How do I write a SQL query without knowledge of SQL using artificial intelligence? That's all I have for you today. If you have any comments on this, and if you have more things you need to understand about Postgres and using artificial intelligence, please give me your comments. I'll look at them and see what to do. Otherwise, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, share, and see you in the next video. Have a great day.